Is your dog plain and boring? Well, here's a chance to spruce your dog up with a DIY collar and bow tie. Step 1. Gather all materials needed to make the collar and bow tie. You will need a dress shirt and desired fabric for the bow tie, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, a marker, measuring tape, and velcro. Step 2. Measure and cut out the fabric for the bow. Measure out a 3.5 inch by 2.5 inch rectangle for the bow tie base. Cut out the fabric and trim if needed. Once the bow tie base is cut out, step 3 calls for a strip of fabric for binding the bow tie together. For this binding strip, measure out a 2.5 inch by half inch rectangle. Cut out the 2.5 by half inch strip of fabric and trim if needed. With the bow tie base and binding strip at hand, we can move on to step 4, forming the bow tie. Take your 3.5 inch by 2.5 inch piece of fabric and place your index finger at the top. Pinch the fabric into a fan fold all the way down to the bottom of the fabric. You can then adjust the shape of your bow by pinching out the fabric. Once shaped to your desire, add hot glue to the center of the bow. Then wrap the 2 inch by half inch strip of fabric around the center of the bow and glue it down. You have now completely formed your bow tie. Next is to make the bow tie attachable to the collar. Using the hook side or rough side of a velcro strip, measure out a half inch square and cut it out. Take the back of your bow tie and add hot glue to the center. Stick the velcro on top of the glue and press it down until it dries. Next, to make the collar for your dog, you will need to cut off the collar of a dress shirt. Unfold the collar of the dress shirt and rotate the collar vertical to you. Carefully cut along the seam of the collar. Once the collar is cut off of the dress shirt, step 7 calls the collar to be cut in half. Guiding my finger down the middle of the collar, I will cut the collar approximately in half. For step 8, a 3 inch rectangle will be cut from the right collar half. Once you've placed the left collar half off to the side, take the right collar half and measure out 3 inches. Mark 3 inches at the top of the collar and in the middle of the collar above the seam. As guided with my finger, cut the 3 inch marks from the top to the middle of the collar and then cut along the seam. In step 9, velcro will be added to the right collar half. Taking the velcro strip hook side, measure and cut out 1 inch of velcro. Flip the right collar half over and add hot glue to the back of the 1 inch velcro. Place the velcro towards the lower right hand corner of the collar. Step 10. Adding velcro to the left collar half. Using the loop or soft mat velcro strip, measure and cut out 3 inches. The soft sided velcro strip will be placed and glued down in the lower right hand corner of the left collar half. Add more hot glue if needed. To ensure that the velcro pieces are securely glued onto the collar, attach and detach the velcro pieces. If not secure, add hot glue. Step 11. Connecting and securing the two collar halves. Taking both collar halves, button them together. Below the button connecting the two collar halves, add hot glue in between the two fabrics to secure the collar halves in place. Step 12. Attaching a half inch velcro square to the collar. Velcro will help connect the bow tie to the collar. Take the soft matted or loop side of the velcro and draw out a half inch square. Cut out the half inch velcro square and hot glue it down below the button connecting the two collar halves. Step 13. Putting the collar and bow tie together. Take the ends of the collar and overlap the left side over the right, connecting the velcro. You may adjust the size of the collar to fit your dog. Fold the collar flaps down and stick the bow to the front of the collar. Voila! You have created a fabulous collar and bow tie for your dog. You can use an assortment of patterns to best match your dog's style. Now presenting the fabulous Dofu.